Uh, Randy and Daniel discussed Stadia Pro despite the fact that Google is offering Stadia Pro. And this guy's got me. So I got an email uh, saying, hey, you're a YouTube Premium subscriber. Mm -hmm. You can get Google Stadia Pro for three months for free. And you said to yourself, golly gee, what a deal. What a deal. I didn't immediately sign up for it, though, because I was like, first, I want to see what, what games come with Stadia Pro. Little did you know that once you open that list, you were only to be met with despair. <laughs> it, well, <laughs> disappointment for sure. What we found is that uh, there are 51 games. So many I hadn't even heard of. <laughs> oh, a bunch of them. I mean, like, I know I haven't played every game. Like, I've missed a lot of games, but at least the, the really good ones. So I'm going to stop right there. Just let, let me go back to the beginning. Just the reaction to the email tells you they're going into it with a negative uh, uh, perception, with a negative view. So I got an email uh, saying, hey, you're a YouTube Premium subscriber. Mm -hmm. You can get Google Stadia Pro for three months for free. And you said to yourself, golly gee, what a deal. What a deal. So... Um, it's hilarious to me, not in a funny way, but it's very, very uh, interesting that he's, he, he thought that YouTube Premium was worth the money, which is basically the same technology being used for Google Stadia who's, that's not worth the money. You see what I'm saying? So, like, why go into it negatively like that? So especially when it's free they're saying it's free if somebody said to me hey, hey if, if cowboys like hey, uh, uh primo here's my uh here's my playstation 5 <laughs> you know what i mean you can have it for free how silly would it be for me to be like you know and maybe the ps5 is a bad example how silly would it be for me to be like oh i can get it for free uh i don't know man i don't you know what i mean it's like it's like there's offering you something that every company does. They have to give you a free a f a free trial. Like when you already have this negative uh, view of it, what are you going to get out of it? You know what I mean? Like really, you know, people only get their mind changed when they're going to something open-minded. But they made a video about it. 624. I'm going to save this one for later because I'm definitely going to comment on it. <laughs> because I'm petty like that, bro. Uh, because YouTube Premium does a totally different thing than Stadia. So I get that he was looking for something to uh, to him had value and he didn't feel Stadia had value. But it's not different though. Yeah, it's a different content, but the, the technology is the same to me, I feel. Right. I know you can argue with it saying that, oh, you know, you need input from the uh, user, uh, you know, YouTube can buffer, you know what I mean? But I'm saying these videos that we're watching, this video that you're watching right now live with a four second delay is running on some of the same servers or same technology that Google uses for Stadia. You see what I'm saying? So if they were able to do that with this with how many thousands of hours get uploaded every minute or something, if they can do that with YouTube, why would they be able to handle something like gaming? You know what I mean? Uh, cloud gaming. You know? Uh, Google is a problem solver, man. I almost hit the like button because I'm so used to hitting the like button on you guys' uh, streams. <laughs> they like the job that Google did with YouTube, but they, they have doubts with the job they can do with Stadia. It's, I don't know, I don't, know, I don't get it. You know, I mean, I guess, I guess there can be an argument for that, uh, because it's a new, new product, and I guess uh, YouTube is famous. Not YouTube, Google is famous for, the, you know, and a lot of those uh, uh, Google graveyard, uh, a lot of those are rebrandings, which is the, uh, you know, it's not the same as a dead product. Uh, but his value in his eyes zero on investment zero was equal not negative as he didn't pay for stadia yeah he's getting a free trial and then he's already kind of in it in like uh he's already has like a negative perception of it uh so youtube premium will give you it will give him no ads and stadia plays video games it's two different things so i can see someone making oh yeah if you can see it as, as differently i personally see it as a company that's good with technology in the cloud uh 
providing products in the cloud. So if if you enjoy Google search, if you enjoy uh, Stadia, I'm sorry, if you enjoy uh, YouTube, if you enjoy Gmail, if you enjoy all these products created by this company who specializes in cloud technology, then there's nothing about that that should tell you Stadia is going to be bad. You see what I'm saying? If they tried it and it was bad, then okay. Right, but he was talking about getting a free trial, so that means he hasn't tried it, so therefore he shouldn't have a negative opinion on it based on his experience. The fact that he has a YouTube channel, probably making money off of the YouTube channel, a technology that was created, uh, not created by uh, uh, Google, but acquired by Google, and and uh, and to me, near almost perfected. You know, Twitch is the only other competitor. Uh, I don't hear too many people talking about Facebook gaming, but maybe them. I don't know. To be fair, you stopped the video after one minute. You're a hundred percent right. I've missed a lot of games, but at least the the really good ones, I think I would have heard of. Right. You know, and I was like, this is pitiful. It's not like they're all bad games because I think there are some good games on there. Mm -hmm. But the fact that they want to charge nine ninety nine for these games and yeah. this be like. Look, this is the reason to sign up for Stadia for Stadia Pro. There are some decent. So nine ninety nine, ten dollars for fifty something games. Somebody did the math today and um and the thing. So nine fifty. He said fifty one, right? I forget already. So ten divided by fifty. That's twenty cents a game. And games, complaining. What's crazy to me is that this selection of games, fifty one games. Okay. 51. And they were charging $9.99 a month for you cents. to have access to these this but, library of games. But you get additional games. That's not the only thing that is, you get additional comes games with your $9.99. You also get access to 4K <clears throat> streaming if your internet can handle Ooh. it. 5.1 surround sound Ooh. and then HDR. Ooh. I mean, you don't tell so, I mean, me. Like, you get like you the don't premium the guy experience in the red shirt if your internet can uh, handle it. And I will say that I spent a little time with Stadia, and uh, as far as these like cloud services go, it works really well. I agree. Out of the cloud services, okay. and you I might have think I've tried them all. Stadia was by far the best, mm -hmm. and by far the most similar to a console. I wouldn't say that I didn't realize I was, you know, streaming it. No, I wouldn't say that either. It's not like they have are offering an inferior streaming experience. But I really think that $9.99 a month is too much for this. It's way too much. It's about $9 too much. But I but I am curious, like, what reasons could you possibly see for somebody subscribing to this, if any? Like, all you have is a, a device and you have no consoles. You don't have a PC. Mm -hmm. Maybe then, like, maybe you have a, a Chromecast and you want to get into gaming. I'd say that'd be the only reason. What about you? Unless you just have no other way to play games and you just want to get into gaming somehow, especially if you already have YouTube Premium and you can get this deal, that's about it. Yeah, but even then, I'd say, like, you're better off going with Game Pass Ultimate, where you can still stream. And I think yeah. the, the streaming experience may not be quite as good, yeah. but there's so the many more though. games. Like, wait, wait. Oh, this is what bothers me, man. So they're saying, okay, so Game Pass has 370 something games that you can uh, that you can play on the cloud, right? But isn't the whole point of playing games is to immerse yourself in the game? And if the experience because of the technical part is not up to par, isn't that worse than paying 20 cents uh on a, a per game rather than whatever 375 divided by 15 which you know what i mean or the other way around 15 divided by 75 so you you say you rather save yourself 15 cents per game even if the experience is worse Oh man, hold on. So many I better think games. About the you know, you and I are like a long-term YouTube premium subscribers. Like yeah. back when it was YouTube Red, you know, if they were to bundle this in and just it just be part of it, I think then the conversation would be less about oh, Stadia sucks, mm -hmm. and it would be more about well, look at what else you get with YouTube Premium. Yes, you get YouTube Premium, you get YouTube Music, and you get Stadia mm -hmm. for that ten dollars a month. They're doing it for three months. They might as well just go whole hog and say, let's just make it permanent. Their numbers would jump 
huge, mm -hmm. right? And then I would actually have a reason to play games on Stadia because if there was a game on there that I hadn't played yet, like say Control. Control's a game I want to play. So if I wanted to play that game, I would either have to rent it through Gamefly or I would have to buy it. But if I had Stadia, if it was included in my premium, play. I would just go in there and play it. Yeah, might as well. Like, I mean, they don't have that many games on there, but if it's just 51 games, I think that's a great perk for, uh, you know, people who are already subscribed to YouTube Premium. Yeah, me too. You know, I mean, it's just like right now, there's no reason to be a freestanding Stadia subscriber. I, I just don't, I just don't see a good reason. I nope. mean, they canceled all their, you know, what was going to be exclusives. But I'll be honest, I'm, part of me is considering signing up for these three months just to try it. But then I'm like, what's the point? I looked at the games. I'm like, what are you going to play? What am I going to play? And then... I'm more worried that I'm going to forget to unsubscribe from it and then get charged so after three months. Or so. I think they're right just after. trying to drag people in. They're trying to say, oh, come back to Stadia. It's just not enough. They've tried everything, man. They sent out free Stadia controllers and Chromecast Ultras. I know. They sent those to YouTube Premium subscribers who just clicked on the link. for a, It was only for like a day. Yeah. But they did And it. you didn't tell me about it until the day was over. I know. Sorry. But they did that for free. And then now they're like saying, okay. We'll give you three months for free. Just try it. They're doing everything it's except, sad. you know, making good games be on it. Even if there were a hundred games, I might start to be like, okay, if you have nothing else, it might be okay. At least something to consider. But right now at 51 games, I'd say don't even consider it. Even though mm. the streaming on it is really good, but it's not just all about the streaming experience. You got to have the games. You got to have the games. It's not about the experience. So why do people spend thousands of dollars on rigs and then spend the money on the games? I get heated, man, because just the arguments don't make sense and then there's nobody to push back on them. You see what I'm saying? So that at the end of that clip, I'm, I'm assuming they were like, yeah, we did a good job, guys. Hey, there was no misinformation here. But anyways, I love it, though. I don't know why I love it. I love getting heated for, uh, for stuff like this. <laughs> I think Twitter's gonna end up killing me one of these days. Uh, I totally understand what they are saying. Uh, their point is my point with Stadia, the library of games aren't that great. So I would recommend people to play Game Pass because honestly, Game Pass plays uh, pretty good nowadays. They are talking about, they calculated SNS, canceled SGNE, okay, but they didn't. Can't, they never announced any games that they canceled. They canceled the, the in-house studio. They never canceled any games that were specifically coming out and didn't come out. The argument does make sense. The argument doesn't make sense to you because you don't care what games you play. Okay. So, you, so you're saying, you're saying that the argument is, their argument is, uh, I want more games, even if the experience isn't as good right that's what you that, that that argument makes sense to you right i want more games give me more games i'll pay more money for it even if the experience isn't as good right so i have stadia here right it's not supported here so like today i, I was having issues with stadia Right. Uh, with all the platforms, I'm going to show you in a second. With all the platforms, I have issues here because I'm so far away and the Internet is not strong. What's the value of having 375 games, six games that are unplayable? You know what I mean? They uh, So it's like you're why would somebody buy a 4K TV to play video games? When they can just use their, you know, their 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 phone or something like that. You know, you see what I'm saying? So it's like people, uh, especially if they're talking about they want more games. The assumption, and I'm assuming here, so I could be wrong, is the assumption is that they care about their time spending. Or they care about their the value of their time playing games. So wouldn't you want that to be at least uh, a comfortable experience? You know what I mean? So there's no point in having all those games when you click on it and it doesn't launch or it takes forever to load up or, you know, you get pixelated, you get a lag. They admitted, they admitted that Stadia was a better experience. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know, man. Uh, 
I can't put it into words. It's in my head nice and clear, but I can't spit it out. Uh, to me, the argument doesn't make sense because uh, if they're saying, oh, X xCloud has better games uh, and therefore I'd rather just buy an Xbox and play those better games, then okay. But if you're talking specifically about uh, uh, cloud gaming, then it doesn't make sense to me. Okay, good. I'm glad you said that. Uh, xCloud is 100% playable for me. Uh, better experience by uh, by how much? That's the question. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so let's let's look at this. Okay, so I'm gonna release a game right now. I'm not a game. A video right now. Right now. Right now. I'm gonna drop a video, and we're gonna play it. I mean, we're gonna watch it real quick, and then I have a little analysis thing that I'm gonna post. <laughs> 